Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks very much uh, for coming to today's news conference. Uh, last night at approximately 5 to 8 uh, in the evening, the Ridge Meadows RCMP received a call in regards to someone having been shot uh, in a parking lot located at the Haney Place Mall. Uh, that particular shooting took place in a public location outside a grocery store which was open and with a number of uh, shoppers and bystanders, bystanders in the immediate area. Uh, the Ridge Meadows RCMP responded immediately along with the BC Ambulance Service and the Ridge Meadows Fire Department. The victim was quickly located, transported uh, by air ambulance to a local area hospital where he was pronounced deceased upon arrival at that local area hospital. I can tell you that that victim has been identified as Claude Deguire, D-E-G-U-I-R-E, -E, age 26, of Maple Ridge, British Columbia. At the time of this particular shooting, there were multiple witnesses identified and interviewed, which subsequently arrested, resulted in the arrest of two male suspects, age 27 and 26, who currently remain in custody at the Ridge Meadows RCMP detachment. Investigators are currently seeking a third yet to be identified male suspect that is believed to have played a role in this homicide as well. What I can tell the community and the public at large is that this was a targeted shooting which took place at very close range between the victim and the suspect it appears to be drug related, which was a direct factor in this homicide. This is yet another example of the risk that one takes when they're involved in the drug trade. We've seen it before, we've seen it now again. You ultimately pay with your life. We're asking that anyone that has any information in regards to this homicide, if they have not spoken to the police, if they have any information around the identity of the outstanding third suspect, to call the IHIT tip line at 1-877-551-4448, or if you wish to remain anonymous, Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. At this point, uh, I'd like to turn it over to Inspector Dave Flugel, the operations officer, and the acting uh, detachment commander for the Ridge Meadows RCMP. Thank you, Peter. This is our first homicide of the year. Traditionally, we do not see high numbers of violent crimes, so when they happen, it gets our full attention. Those that live, work, and play in Ridge Meadows know this is a safe community. Public place shootings are not a common occurrence for us. We accept the fact that sometimes we are impacted by acts of violence that are commonly associated to larger urban centers. I, along with my fellow law enforcement colleagues and community leaders, are just as angered and outraged about this as you are. It is shocking and unacceptable that this incident unfolded in a very public place, not only in our close-knit community, but in our town centre that is undergoing significant revitalization, investment and growth. Although difficult sometimes to find any positives for the community, we need to remind ourselves a few things. This was specifically targeted between persons who had a conflict. The shots were fired at a very close range and there were no lost rounds. Our first responders were on the scene almost immediately, were able to gather critical evidence and information to support the investigation and ultimately the prosecution. Frequently, police encounter resistance and lack of cooperation in cases like this. Oftentimes, local citizens and witnesses have to be pressed for information. I'm proud to say that the Ridge Meadows RCMP so far have had no shortage of persons coming forward to offer details of what they saw. This speaks volumes to how people feel about our community. It gives us confidence to know that public safety is truly a shared responsibility and that there's confidence in our systems to get to the bottom of these types of violent, unacceptable, and terrible crimes. Ridge Meadows RCMP are fully committed to the integrated teams who we depend on to assist us solve these types of crimes. And I have the highest levels of confidence in them. Thank you very much.